For breaking news now coming in, Sajjan Kumar, the Congress leader, has been acquitted of all charges in connection with his role in the 1984 anti-Sikh riots in Delhi. Let's just listen in to some reactions now coming in. Uh, this verdict would come as a huge, huge disappointment uh, for uh, all of those who have been fighting all of these decades for justice for the victims of those killed in 1984. <laughs> All right, we'll try and get that signal back up in just a few moments, but I need to clarify that he's been acquitted of all charges in a particular case uh, linked to his role in the 1984 riots. Now, there are other cases which have uh, been filed against him as well. Uh, this acquittal of the case against uh, Sajjan Kumar has been made in the court uh, in uh, the Karkarduma courts in Delhi. Siddharth Pandey, my colleague, joins us now for more on this. Siddharth, what are the details of this judgment? Well, what we know right now is that Sachin Kumar has been acquitted of all charges. In fact, the press was not allowed inside the court when the order was read out. You can actually hear the policemen uh, screaming behind us, insisting that the press even leave right now. But uh, it seems that uh, just a short while back, the judge just came out and said that Sachin Kumar has been acquitted of all charges. Three others out of the total six who were accused in this case, Balwan Kokar, Bhagmal and Gidhari, have been convicted under 302. That's uh, for murder. So three of them out of the total six accused have been convicted for murder, charges of murder. But as far as Sajjan Kumar is concerned, uh, that one of the main suspects in this particular case, uh, the trial court has acquitted him on all charges, Vishnu. Okay, so this is one of three cases against him, is that right? Well, that's right. But uh, this was a substantial case because uh, uh, the, the prosecution at least was very confident, the CBI was confident that it had enough proof. It had solid eyewitnesses, what the CBI had claimed. This is a big blow as far as the CBI is concerned, as far as those uh, who have been fighting for justice in 1984 are concerned. So this is a big blow for them. But of course, uh, Mr. Sajjan Kumar is like, claiming that uh, these eyewitnesses were never reliable. Uh, but I can tell you, Vishnu, is that just a short while back, this order actually came out. I'm going to try and get uh, Mr. Pulka, if I can, on the phone line, Vishnu. Uh, in fact... Uh, they are actually just waiting for the order copy. Uh, it's up to the CBI whether they want to actually go and appeal this particular verdict. But this definitely has come as a big blow to the CBI. Sajjan Kumar, one of the main prime accused in this particular case, just a short while back, acquitted by this uh, court in Kalkarduma. Vishnu. All right, Siddharth, uh, what are the implications of this, if any, for Jagdish Titler or are the cases against Jagdish Titler completely different? Uh, they are different. In fact, uh, that relates to rioting in a different part of Delhi, in North Delhi. But clearly the fact is that after all these years, after almost three decades, what uh, the prosecution has been saying and what the victims' families have been saying, that's very tough to actually gather evidence. And obviously with the passage of time, it, it, it gets very difficult to get evidence. Uh, they've been claiming that there has been intimidation of witnesses. But in this particular case, they were confident of at least some kind of conviction. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how the judges sought a distinction between uh, Mr. Sajjan Kumar and the others. The fact that actually has gone ahead and convicted at least three of the six accused uh, for, on charges of murder. Uh, the actual order copy, like I said, has yet to come out. The press was not allowed in to the courtroom when the order was read out. The room was completely sealed off. And a huge contingent of press actually had gathered since the morning. Uh, we were actually asked to leave the room uh, or, or ostensibly for security checks, not allowed back in when the orders were read out. But what we can tell you at this moment is that Sajjan Kumar has been acquitted of all charges uh, against him and he was charged with murder and rioting as well. So he's been acquitted. Uh, as far as three of the other accused are concerned, uh, they have been uh, convicted under 302 and that's of course for charges of murder. And these include Balwan Kokar, Bhagmal and Gildhari. The rest of the order, Vishnu, we just have to wait and see because this order was not read out before the press. Vishnu.